Welcome back to week number 18, year number two of the GGBFL. If you've made it this far without knowing what the his, the heck is wrong with you? All right, the current look of the playoffs would be the Steelers are undefeated at number one. The Raiders versus Chiefs is the current matchup there in the AFC. Again, these could be subject to change based on what happens in week number 18. Texans versus Chargers and then Jets versus Broncos. I think that four or five spots been pretty much locked in for a little bit. And then over in the NFC, you have Washington still undefeated. You have us only one loss versus the 49ers, which is a rivalry match. That's a, we got a long time rivalry, me and Yak. So that will be interesting. Uh, you have the Seahawks versus the Falcons. Falcons have jumped up to the number six spot, getting a big W, I think, this week as well. And you have the Packers versus Saints, which has pretty much, again, been that locked in spot for a minute. So some really good matchups across the board, but things could change. All right, now this week we are taking on the Lions, and the reporter says the Lions are struggling, but sometimes a team can trip up unexpectedly by looking ahead to the next game. Any fear, this is a trap game. We're going to say no fear because I trust my team to do what they got to do. Go out there and play hard football. Pause. So not at all. It's the NFL. Everybody's a threat. We stress that week in and week out. Second you overlook an opponent is the second you make headlines for getting upset. I agree. And going into the playoffs, we cannot afford to trip up. We got to stay locked in. The Lions are struggling and all players will have minus five break tackle. W. Play rec and tackle for the team. Oh, wait. Is that my players or their players? I think that's my players. Beat the Lions and avoid... Falling victim to the trap game. So I think my players have all that stuff, which is not good going into this game. Now, their lineup is a little bit scary. This is Nick Chubb. This is a different owner than what we played, I think, in the beginning of the season or maybe last season. I can't remember. But they have Nick Chubb, Devontae Adams, Josh Allen. That is a disgusting trio that should never be all on one team. How do we let this happen? On defense, Levante David, Tyler Lockett, a receiver, Lane Johnson, a right tackle who's also injured right now, which is crazy. That's good news for us. Uh, you have Eddie Jackson, Akeem Hicks. Again, there's talent across the board in this team. We got to be careful. Now, we did get one of our players back in Larry Tunsil this week, so our left tackle is back. Finally, we didn't have it for like three or four weeks. We get him back. James Bradbury, though, is injured for two more weeks, and I think it's time we test a certain rookie to see is he about that action? Now, Pat Melvin is usually our third. Actually, he's usually our fourth corner, but because of the injury of James Bradbury, he moved to third. We're actually going to give him the number one spot this week. I want to see what he can ultimately do with Sante Samuel, play our second fiddle spot. Pat Melvin is probably going to be matched up mostly against Devontae Adams. would be the toughest test he has ever had, but he's six foot four. He has really good speed. He's got really good ball skills. Pause if needed. I believe in him. Let's see what he's got. All right, here we go. First play of the game. Yeah, these uniforms are clean. Shout out to Mazlu for telling me to do this combo because I kind of love it. Oh my God. Boy, I thought he wasn't going to catch that. Broken ankles. Get that man a map. Dalton. He step out of bounds. Bernie cut off. Oh, let's go, Bernie. Booney's hurt. All right, sub him out for a little bit. Let's let's get him help. Lamar, so let me go ahead and wall to the middle. We'll take that. Lamar Jackson should be the MVP of the league, but they don't want him to be great. They don't want Lamar to be great. Oh, I thought we had that. The tackle. There we go. Oh, Oruwari, what a pick. Let's go. I thought it was going to be Pat Melvin. I was like, oh. The run. Oh, we almost cut that. Oh, George Pick is trying to get him one. George, we see you. Yep, let's take it wide open. Let's go. Wow, Chubb barely went down. And Miss Hurt, no. <laughs> take me, not him, no. Oh, Everett, you got to get that. Oh, Pat Melvin was there, too. Oh, Pat Melvin got torched a little bit. Let's get oh, 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 oh. Hold on a minute, partner. And another one. My ankles. All right, he didn't score because of that, though. Tough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. TJ Edwards, let's go. Don't fumble. I didn't want to throw that. It would have been too close. Oh, my God. That was almost a safety. I had it. I just need I need a second more to half. Ghost is going crazy right now. AJ Brown, let's get it. We're not going to accidentally slide at the one yard line this time. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, big fella. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Bro, I'm not going to lie. That play did not work for him, but that scared me. All right, third and forever for him. <sighs> Good read. Good read. Are oh, you chalk? <gasps> I thought that was going to be Pat Melvin because he was tall. He's six foot four. 
<laughs> but it's the wrong six foot four guy. J-Ron Curse, let's get it. What a hit by Asante. Zig. Yeah, Chris and Harris all day. Man, Chris and Harris don't see a lot of PT, but when he's in there, he's in there. Oh my god, dropped. Almost picked two. What the hell? Ooh, good pass. Chris and Harris, let's go. Oh, he's wide open. Good play. Good play. Oh, Justice Simmons, let's go. Oh. <clears throat> Interesting. Illegal block in the back. All right, so that play almost completely pooped the bed. But we still got it. I wanted to go deep to B, but he stopped running this round. AJ Brown's just a grown man. Like, this dude's just a grown man. Holy. Oh, I thought it was a counter to run. Oh my god, big sack. Let's go, Bigsby. Pause if needed. Oh my god, J Ron. J Ron having a field day. Pick is trying to get some rushing yards today. Little we'll fake end around. Ernie trying to flex the Jets. Love to see it. Man, if he just had a little bit more giddy up. Let's go. AJ Brown having a day out here. Holy. <laughs> we had three dudes there. No one got it. Oh, I thought. Man, if Pat Melvin could just get up. Good route. Oh, my God. <laughs> TJ Edwards killed him. Let's say, you know what? He gets rid of that one. Oh, good hit, J-Ron. Christian Harris right there. Bro, I literally can't switch to Pat Melvin. It's crazy. <laughs> Low ball, I'm so sorry. I didn't even, like... That I swear I didn't try to block it. This is a random, wouldn't care, but a viewer, like I feel bad. Ooh, good run. Chubb's so good. Oof. Fight for your bread, Bernie. George Pickens having a day. Oh my God, Bernie. Run. There we go. Oh, Laramie Thompson wants to get hurt again. God. Let's get Bernie in the end zone. There we go. Wow, I just whiffed. There we go. Ooh, he's got him wide open in the middle of the route. Oh my god. Come on, McCreary. There we go. Good half back draw. <laughs> no. We'll be seeing you. Your Xbox crash. No.